Hello everyone, welcome to Afrinu South Africa. If you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe and share. Hit on the notification bell so that you would be notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you all. This week, social media has been inundated by questions as to whether or not South Africa is ready for a female chief justice after George Mandisa Maya gave a moving speech about how women continue to be sidelined from the top positions. Maya argued South Africa has always been ready to have a female chief justice, but the continued sabotage of more women to enter into the arena has always been a bottleneck. She says the fact that she made it to the top four judges shortlisted for the chief justice promotion shows that she is just as good as her male associates. I am not good because I'm a woman. I'm just a good woman, Josh, said Justice Mandisa Maya. The same could be said about African National Congress on whether or not the movement is ready to have female president in structures that are mainly male dominated from the party's presidency to the ANC Youth League. Critics are of the notion that female comrades who show that they can be threats to contesting male candidates for higher offices usually end up being ridiculed and embarrassed so that their reputation will be tainted. ANC National Executive Committee member Lindiwe Sisulu, who for the past weeks has been tweeted on the possible candidate for the RET to contest against Cyril Ramaphosa for the party's highest office now has a lot on her hands to deal with. Sisulu has now been summoned to appear before the party's integrity commission to explain herself concerning the opinion piece that she wrote challenging the conduct of the judiciary under President Ramaphosa's administration. This gives the impression that Lindiwe Sisulu is being dealt with for the mere fact that she is a woman who is aspiring to compete for the position of ANC's highest office. ANC Youth League convener Nonseba Noli recently hinted at her readiness for the Youth League's top position while arguing that the league must choose a female leader as over the years ANC Youth League presidents have always been males. The question however remains on whether or not the ANC is ready for a female president.